today's great indoors adventure takes us to downtown Rosenberg. Oh, it's such a quaint, wonderful place. Escape from the heat and rain at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. That's what Ruben Dominguez is doing this morning. Joining us there live. Hi, Ruben. Hey, good morning to you, Melissa. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking for a cool spot to bring the family and just uh, enjoy an afternoon, Rosenberg Railroad Museum should be on your list. This is Rainy Webster. You guys have a lot going on here. We sure do. We've spent the last 12 months renovating, getting ready for reopening. We reopened last fall. We have some great exhibits for everyone to enjoy. Speaking of which, we've got some video to, to show the folks. We're in one of the buildings here, but you have several buildings you can kind of come in and interact. And, and the one we're going to show you uh, has a lot of that great old railroad memorabilia in it. Correct. So this is in our education station building. This is our model train room. We have two HO layouts um, with these fun model trains from the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. Our, our staff is currently working on building and our volunteers building a new O-Gage layout here in the model train so, um, room. So you'll be able to see the different phases of what it takes to build a model train layout. And uh, you guys have an actual rail car you can walk through, which is, you gave me a little tour earlier. It's yes. pretty cool. So we actually have two, um, we do have a rail car on the property, the Quebec passenger car fully restored inside and out to its 1920s glory. We also have a Mopac caboose. So those are both exterior exhibits um, that are available to tour. And uh, the rail car has a particular uh, resident, I understand. Uh, it's been very rumored, but not confirmed here at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum that a couple of our guests and one of our AC vendors has had an encounter in the rail car. Um, so there may or may not may be a ghost. May or may not be a ghost. All right, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, hours of operation if they want to come see you guys. Yeah, so we are open, open Wednesday through Friday from 10 to 3, Saturdays from 10 to 4, and Sundays from 1 to 4. And this Sunday is our Garden Railroad Run Day, which is our exterior exhibit with the large G-scale Garden Railroad. Our Houston area G-gagers come out and run their unique trains. And I heard this this weekend, the circus is coming to the town. The circus is coming to town. There's a little tease for you. All right guys, the Rosenberg Railroad Museum right here in downtown, historic Rosenberg, worth checking out. Let's say you get a little hungry, you develop a thirst after the museum, we're going to show you exactly where you need to go when you leave the museum. That's coming up in the next hour. Today's adventure in the great indoors involves a road trip to Rosenberg. So Ruben Dominguez is live at the soda shop that has put the small town on the map. Hey Ruben. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, if you love a good old fashioned soda fountain and you have not been to Rosenberg, uh, you need to make a trip out here. Another time, a soda fountain and cafe. This is Renee Butler. How long have uh, you, you been here? 18 years. And how about the building? 111. I love that. I love that. And guys, we got a little bit of video to show you here because you guys are pretty famous for your milkshakes and your malts. What makes them so good? We make them, first of all, with Bluebell ice cream. So that always makes a big deal. Absolutely. And when we make a malt, it tastes just like a malt. And that's because of the, the malt flavoring. It's a malt powder right. versus syrup. So you really get a true malt flavor. And so that's, that's, that's probably, is that the number one seller? That is. That is. Absolutely. People, everybody knows a shake. Malts, they're kind of like, hmm. What's that again? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. you guys do like some old timey uh, we do sodas and a mean ice cream soda. Ooh. And it, it is truly old fashioned because we were taught by a 50 soda jar. So everything we do is based on what the 50 soda jar did. And um, so you go back, you definitely step back in time when you walk in here. Yeah, well you guys, <laughs> and, and I tried the, the, the strawberry milkshake you guys made for me was absolutely fan. Fantastic, and I can tell you that just yeah. from the uh, uh, from the heart. And I've ha I've had a few of those over the years. So, uh, you know, and you guys have, of course, a full menu for folks that want to come in here and eat and stuff. But before I let you go, we'll talk a little bit about the history because I mean, you can look at all the wonderful pictures on the walls, and I mean, it just kind of tells the whole story of, the, of downtown Rosenberg. Everything about downtown Rosenberg, and it's funny. We actually have people that have come in. They've got all 
this memorabilia that they've had in their house, and now they're like, well, what do we do? We want more people to see it. So any place you go around here, yeah. there are things that people have brought from their house, from their homes, that they turn around and let us display. It's a historical it's record, a very historical of, of, record. Of downtown we've Rosenberg. Got, we've got one picture that people come in all the time, and there's one person we've never been able to identify, and people will bring in their... So it's a little mystery. It's a mystery, absolutely. All right. I love absolutely. it. Renee, thank you for that yeah. so much. Guys, next time you come down here, check it out. It's called uh, Another Time Cafe, a soda fountain and cafe. Correct. You will not be right. disappointed. In downtown Rosenberg, Ruben Dominguez, Fox 26 News. Ruben, though, who is having fun for all of us, over at the Soda Fountain in Rosenberg. So this is another one of your great indoor adventures if people are looking to do something with the family before school starts, Ruben. Yeah, good morning, guys. So uh, we've spent the morning out here in downtown Rosenberg, historic downtown Rosenberg. Earlier, if you were watching us on the uh, broadcast, uh, at 8 o'clock, we spent some time inside of the Railroad Museum. And the, the great indoors, the idea why we're visiting all these places during this week is to give you some options, uh, family-friendly options, where you can go get out of the heat and the humidity and all this crazy rain we've been having and, uh, you know, just kind of take a break uh, from the outdoors for a little bit. So the Railroad Museum, which is right across the street from where I'm sitting right now, uh, is actually, uh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a time capsule into... Uh, you know, what it was like a hundred years ago uh, when, you know, people traveled by rail almost primarily. And, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, economy of, of Rosenberg was based on the rail line. Uh, it's really cool stuff. They've got an amazing, two separate amazing uh, model train uh, attractions that are definitely worth seeing. The kids are going to love it. They have a summer camp that's coming up too. And if you go to the Ra Rosenberg Railroad Museum, just uh, Google them online. They've got all that information uh, and uh, it tells you about everything that you can see. So that's really cool. So then uh, in the nine o'clock hour, we walked over here to, this is called Another Time uh, Soda Fountain and Cafe. Uh, and it is in a building that's more than 100 years old. Uh, the, uh, the cafe, the current incarnation of it, has been here uh, with uh, owner Renee Butler and her, her team for about 18 years. And it is uh, all about the milkshakes and the malts. They are incredible. They made one for me last week when I was here kind of shooting video and just getting a taste for the place. Uh, and it was fantastic definitely worth the drive they also have a, a a menu for you know if you're coming in to, to get something get something savory to go with that uh, milkshake or malt they can definitely uh, hook you up and uh, the team behind the bar definitely experts they know what they're doing and yes they do use bluebell ice cream so there you go come on out to downtown Rosenberg spend the afternoon bring the kids have a good time and uh, you know I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy today's pick for the great indoors. We did. It was really fun, Ruben. Okay, where are you going tomorrow? Or is it a secret? Uh, no, it's not a secret. Tomorrow I will give you a hint. Tomorrow okay. we're going uh, we're going down south. We're going to we're going to go down south on uh, on uh, I-45 and it's all about some classic arcade games. There's your tease. Ah, okay. All right. That'll be fun. Thank you.